Yeah. Come here. No. Come here, man. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. 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 Yes. Huh? Yes. Are we on or are we off? We're on now. Two people just popped on when you said that. Yeah. Where you won't ever tell me, Amanda. Because I'm chewing my gum. I'm busy. Here we mm. go. <laughs> ah. Everybody. Welcome. Hey, welcome. Saturday Night Live. It's dead. Saturday Night Dead. <laughs> Saturday Night Dead. <laughs> it's Saturday. This is like Saturday Night Dead. Like, wasn't there a jam here or something? When are um, we we're not dead. First thing, you got to show your haircut Brittany did today. Look at it, man. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Turn. Spin. Spin. You got... <laughs> Spin. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, there go water. Ready? Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. uh, rock it on. Uh-uh-uh. Mm, 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 mm. uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, we need the DJ here. What? No, do what Landon was doing. I can't figure that out. <laughs> what is that? One goes back and the other one goes like this. Yeah. It's like, you don't move your body. It's he just did. you move your arms. He did. One, that goes back and this one goes front. Now go that one back. Okay. This one? Yeah, like that. I'll have to show you the video. Oh, it's I can't, funny. I can't move without my hips moving. I've got to move them hips. Uh, uh, well, you was born to move your hips. <laughs> Welcome to Incredible Time. What happened to all, all the people? <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. Saturday night. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh. Do your go-to. Show your go-to. This is Randy's go-to move. Go ahead. The uh uh. No, this is what you do. You do that. You do that. That's his go-to dance move right there. Oh, yeah, that's just what I'm trying to get warmed up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, there was a guy, a gentleman here from Michigan. I know a guy. I know a guy. <laughs> Todd. I know a guy. I know a guy. I got a buddy in Michigan talk like, I got no guy. I know a guy. And this guy come down here <laughs> and he said, Randy, what do you eat? And I said, well, I didn't eat good this weekend, but no. normally, and if he's watching tonight, and I don't want to say his name, but there was two books that I've, uh, I've read that helped me in my diet, was Eat to Live by Joel Furman, and the other one was The Grain Brain. And he was Dr. Perlmutter. Perlmutter. Mm -hmm. And he was a neuros, neurosurgeon. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've just adopted those two 90% of my life, 95% of my diet and what I do. Uh, listen, I'm no freak of God, put of me nutrition. in a coma. I'm no freak of nutrition. Man, just rolling her eyes. But <laughs> it has helped me. It has helped me with tons of feeling better and energy and all that stuff. So, anyway... Just, and this is just to let people know because people have been asking me a little bit, but what I do is I've always, I, I eat uh, uh, spinach, kale, blueberry, almond milk, a uh, uh, shake for lunch with some almonds and walnuts. I mix with some avocados. And then for supper, I just had salmon, quinoa, or uh, um, couscous, right? No, quinoa. 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 Uh -huh. That's right, quinoa. But yeah. that's pretty much all I eat. Uh, I'll I'll break down have some you know every once in a while like this weekend God I had a couple oh, hot dogs. Oh Lord! Everybody so, ate oh, the, we ate those Kringles that um, Dave and uh, Karen got from Wisconsin. Jesus. You know what? I thought I turned into a complete addict. Oh God! Every time I walked by them, I was slicing, slicing, uh, slicing, slicing and eating. Eat, I ate eat. that pecan. I ate that when mm. I woke up Monday morning. I felt like everything on me was swelled. Well, nobody up. could move. <laughs> I, I will swell. If anybody saw me last weekend, see, I'm not swelled this weekend. I'm like all oh, like I mean, no my swell. joints, everything I was just went nuts. Sick. So, but I, then I Ugh. didn't eat for two days and back at it. So, uh -oh. anyway, I find the less I eat, the better I feel. So, um, but believe me, I am not skinny. Got, okay, is this show about tiny houses? I'm, I don't know. I'm getting ready to turn I you off. Man, I'm trying to help the guy to ask me about it, and he wanted me to text all that stuff. And those are the two books, right? And. 
That's it. Done. I'm, I'm no, look, listen, I am no nutrition guru. I am nothing. All I know is that's what I eat, and it maybe helps me a little bit around here. All right, done. Done. But I couldn't walk before I started do, eating like that. I'm telling you, I had built a house for myself back on the resort, and I thought that was the last home I'd ever built. My back was a chronic hurting. My elbows, I had carpal tunnel in my arm. My knees shot. I thought that was, this was it. I started eating like that, doing yoga, and I'm, my whole life changed. Dropped probably 20 pounds, and I mean, everything changed. Anyway, I'm good. So if you wanted to know that, I just want to let everybody know. Tonight, I wanted to tell you all that the jam has done, this is what I, we were wanting to do with the jam, but it was kind of unexpected, but it happened too when we moved to the new property, but it's been a restart, and I've, some people I've been talking to about it in our company, and it's been awesome, because we gutted this place, completely gutted, swept it out, it was beautiful. If you come to the jam, you could, you've seen how pretty it was and nice. Right. What we've done is all these homes, look at that, it looks like an aisle way back. It there. really does. Look, you got boom, 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 done, done, mm -hmm. done. House boom, done, done, House done, boom, done, 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 done. And, and uh, we were out at the property today with Lucas, and Lucas said, boom, done. He said it today. Everybody's saying boom, done. Move it, boom, done. And, but it's true, it just goes so quick. <clears throat> All these homes, this is Sharon's house, this is Cindy's house, we got some, uh, uh, Savannah, no, uh, Samantha, um, with the 24 hour build, we got Miss Summer, mm -hmm. we got Andrew, we got Hardy's, we got Thomas, we got um, uh, uh, McLeod, we mm -hmm. got Jackson, we got Berwick. Look, I'm naming them all. And we got um, Regina, and we got, uh, um, not Hardy, it was Tom, uh, Hardy. Thomas, mm -hmm. Thomas Hardy and, and Wolf. I'm sorry, and Wolf. Wolf down there. Yeah. Done. We're ready. But over here. Yeah, Jackson. We got a sink, a sink, a kitchen sink, and a faucet to put in. We got Berwick over Berwick, there. Berwick. We got a bathroom sink. This drop in. We got one guy just popping in What's that one over there in the out. corner? That's a new one. Yeah. These are four customs now. We got a custom, 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 custom. We got five customs going. Uh, what yeah. I like about it is now my mm -hmm. seven. We have seventeen men here. Isn't that something? Seventeen. Unreal. Some of them are, are young, learning to, to build. Mm -hmm. We got about probably eight of them are just really seasoned carpenters. We're split them all up in crews like I've always wanted. Yes. Three to four men per house. We got five five crews is what we're is what we're figuring on doing. Mm -hmm. So those five crews, we're building five customs. They'll be in and out within ten to seventeen days. Yes. I call them a generation of homes. They're out. We've got two generations waiting. We got those five. And we got another five. Right. We got two workshop homes. Those will be built in, in sequences when they're needed to be done. We'll start on one Monday, so it's ready Friday. We get a workshop coming Sunday. Anyway, I just want to explain to you all the business that I've been trying to do and how we've been able to get this organized. And it takes a lot. You would think, well, just do it, Randy. No, you can't do that no. when you don't have enough sales coming mm -hmm. in. You don't have enough work coming in. You got men coming. You got to right. train your men in the facility and the inventory. It's just a lot. Yeah. But it's been awesome to have this restart and have a reboot and how we can do. So we are excited about the organization of the company and how it's coming about and how we can handle this. Right? Yeah. We've had, we've had to lay off some guys. Yes. I've had to clean the herd, thin the herd. We've had mm -hmm. to drain the swamp. Whatever you want to call it, we've done it because, because we, you take guys on thinking you can make this system work with other little systems within. Anyway, I reevaluated and done it all. Right. And it's been really good, and we're still in the middle of doing that. Mm -hmm. So um, we're excited about the company. We're excited about the new move that we'll be eventually doing. I uh, was out there today walking the property, looking at all. It looks, I'm just, I'm just like excited about it. It's just really cool to be out there. So we hope to bring, the only thing is, is AT&T or Verizon, I don't know what the carrier is out there, but I didn't hardly I have any either. signal. There is high-speed internet out there. And we've already paid for our permit fees, all the stuff. It's coming in. We'll have water, power, sewer, high-speed internet. It's ready mm -hmm. to go. So anyway, that's what we got going. I wanted to explain to you guys, and I want to show you a couple homes. I want to show you the speed in which we build and the efficiency and, and, and the quality in what we do. Mm -hmm. And this is one house I want to show you real quick right here, all right? Okay. Can we do that? Are people excited about this? They thing? are excited about it. Right. And uh, Jessica on here. Jessica Thomas. Hey, Jessica. She said, I want my house. That's right. Yeah. Yep. And Just, the microwaves. Yeah. Yep. Microwave, the door. Mm -hmm. Right here, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's hers. Right yep. there. Yep. It's ready to go. Um, the one, the, we got her door in, but well, let's show. We want to show it real quick? Yeah. If we can get up there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, 
I, I, I threw water on the floor just to make it look for, they do this, you know, in Hollywood. They oh, get the, do the they? The floor is wet. I, yeah. I wasn't aware of that. It makes it look, the reflection and everything. So this, <laughs> this is, you know, not a leak in the roof. This is no, like, this is, this is all staged. Man. This is staging. That's right. Yeah. For, dr to be more dramatic. This is her house. Oh, there's her door. We patched all, Jessica. The, all the screw holes. Everything's been caulked. This is her door. All we're going to do is put the door set on it. We've got the, the box that she That set. is a pretty door. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. It came a little bit bigger than what was needed, but we, as you can see, we, we made it fit. This will go in, so when the guys get in here Monday, we got her scheduled to leave, yeah. get her out of here. And the um, microwave is Love this already house. in? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to get in, we got the steps Exactly by. right. But these are set, pulled up, We've been going through them, lot, you know, checking all the lug nuts, the bolts, the lights, the screws, everything in here. Sharon's house done. We had a little flat on here. We could fix a flat, um, put her shower pan in, everything else, all the appliances, screens, everything's yeah. been counted. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's just like we're cleaning out the closet. It's done. They're ready to leave. Okay. That's awesome. Can you walk through there? Um, oh, yeah, I can. I can over around here. Too much Hollywood, man. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. I'm just I'm just excited about being efficient with what we're doing and, and where we're going. Mm -hmm. um, this one here. Let me let me show you an example of this house. Okay. This house started. And this is a typical. Um, this is like a workshop where it would stop if you were in a workshop. Okay. Okay. That's there. This is our big scaffold. This will be plywood and sided Monday morning. We've got to re probably get two hours of work with a rubber roof on it. This ready to go. This is Graham's house. Mr. Mm -hmm. Graham's going to be here, I think, the 15th to haul this home. That just started. We like, got, we just showed that. We've got three days in this house. Wow. The roof's on. The soffit's in. It's wrapped around. We would have had it probably sited, but we didn't have it on site. We're going to get it Monday morning from the supply. Right. Okay. Come on in here. Let me show you. It is ready. It is ready for the spray foam. As you guys can see. Oh, yeah. Let me show you. I like how everybody does the different windows. See the windows? Yeah, and they're a different color, yeah, too. they're a different color. Isn't that yep. nice? So we can get different colored windows. Isn't that beautiful? Mm hmm Yep. Yep. And this is what? An A, what, is, what size is this? Uh, it's A18. Yeah, it okay. seems like it's right. Yep. Yep. All right, as you can see in here, we've already got it wired. You got your, and I've done this a month, bunch of times. You guys probably already know about all this. We've already insulated our fenders. Now, in here, um, we insulate the fenders and then push the plywood up against this. Okay. All right. We've had some customers that had said, and it's mostly up north, I think Chelsea had said, that they had a little bit of uh, condensation at the floor of the fenders. Well, what we were doing was buttoning our wood against the fenders, then insulating. Lights on. Yeah. Insulate first, then butt everything to it. Right. Then we can spray foam underneath. Okay. One way of stopping all that, okay, if you have a, a, a home that we've built for you in the past that we didn't do this, one way of stopping that is insulating on the outside of your fender in the wintertime and putting skirting around the outside of your house during the winter so the wind doesn't blow in the cold air. What's happening is the cold is hitting the room air temperature, hot and cold mix causing condensation. So if you have in that, all homes need to have skirting around if you're up north anywhere. Here in Tennessee, it's temperate. You may not need to do that all in the winter time because we do spray foam, but it's still um, what we we have. Uh, gosh, a couple of homes in Tennessee that they call the native put plastic around, mm. and, it, and it did help. And yes. Anytime you're going to stop the wind from blowing on your your floor, you're going to be right. Good. Mm -hmm. But in here, our new our new trailers, all the plumbing. Is run okay? Did they mark it? They didn't mark this. No, no, no. This has got the. This is. I absolutely love this because it still says. Oh, yeah. Everybody seen it the other day. It's the tiny home spring jam. It's so in this, your subfloor. It's in their subfloor. I love right. it. But in here, we have got right here. Let me show you. See okay. these, these two lines? Yes. On the floor. I see. That it. shows there's plumbing in the floor. Just this drain line. Oh, I see. See, so it goes across the floor. Put me in the. 
<laughs> Belly crawl. <laughs> and over here, so we got we got this line that goes across here. And, and then when plumbing. when we get ready to do our our uh, wood flooring, we'll put a spray paint right there, so we know when we're popping our flooring down, not to put a nail there. Oh, I see. Okay. Now, all right, our water lines are in the floor. They're up against the floor, and our hot and cold are put together. Now, the hot in the summer, in the winter time will be against the cold, which will help the the freezing of the water lines. Okay. But also, the this floor will be warm because it's warm in the house. And it'll radiate into these pipes. Underneath the pipes, we'll have two to three inches of uh, closed cell polyurethane spray foam under the house. Okay. That's as much or more than in the walls. Oh. If we put if we put our lines in the wall, we'll have about two inches of foam between the pipes. If our lines were right here like we normally do, yeah. you'd have about two inches of foam. And that's what all the oh. manufacturer requires okay. is two inches of foam in the walls. Oh. We have that or more in the floor. Everybody's saying, well, what if you have a leak? What if you have a leak? You're not going to have a leak anymore in there from freezing as you would in the floor, in the walls. In the walls. It's the same or okay. not better in the floor. One thing I like about it, you don't see any water lines in the walls. No. Isn't that nice? Oh my God, that is right. None of the red and blues yeah. or nothing. This is a shower. Look Ooh, here. All that's in Oh, here. Oh, oh, well, I was looking around. Oh, you can't look around. Look. <laughs> all right. This is a gauge. Okay. Okay. Yes. What we'll do is when the guys come here, we'll pump this up, put pressure on it, right? Mm -hmm. And then we can follow this gauge. If the water, if it goes down, means we have a leak somewhere. Is there water on it right now? No. Oh. There's no power. We just fixed this and took off. Okay. Gas lines. Gas line. Already in. Look, see this main line right here? This is a hard line gas pipe. Oh, wow. Been pressurized. We got pressure on it. Okay. Rain, it runs under the home, but it doesn't hang below. Nothing's hanging so below nice. the house. Everything's up. Because what I did is our main I-beam is here, and we lowered our floor joist, and everything runs above the floor joist. So if this person ever wanted to have a metal pan or anything under it, you just screw it on. Because we've had a couple of houses that wanted that metal underneath the undercarriage yeah. thing. Yeah. I like the metal pan in a way. If you're going to travel a lot, going down the highway, rocks, rocks debris, and salt, stuff. dirt, you need the metal pan. If you're going to sit stationary, you don't need the metal pan. Because that gets welded on there, doesn't it? Or how does it get attached? We're going to we're going to um, fasten it with, with fasteners. Because I was going to say, if there's a problem, you have to be able to take that you off to get underneath it. You want to be able to drop okay. it down. And okay. Work on it. All right. Other manufacturers weld them on there. Yes. How are you ever going to get to anything? Well, you can. You, you have can. to cut it off. So we're going to screw it on there. You can drop the screws and fix it. Oh. Um, I love it. I love it. What I like, you know, what I like about our homes is that if there's a problem, you can almost take it apart and put it back together. You can drop True. the floor, right? Get to all your plumbing and fix it if there was a problem. Right. If I love using wood right here because you're talking about, let's say, hey, honey. Honey doll, honey baby. <laughs> I want to win the right there. <laughs> you know what you're going to do? You're going to cut it out, yeah. put a window in there. Mm -hmm. We take pictures of where all this is at. Yeah. You got it. You're going to say, hey, there's no wire right there, right? Right. I can put a window right here. If it's a metal stud, oh my gosh, that's a problem. You're going to need yeah. special tools. You got to know what you're doing. It's you got it's just sparks and vibrating. This and is two, cool. in that, if you cut the metal, the metal frame wrong, I mean, you're just SOL. Well, look here. If you cut this, all this is self-supporting all through. You don't yeah. have all these brackets and braces and stuff to right. do here. And it's super easy. You can go to Lowe's and buy a, a, a $50 saw right. and cut that out and pop your window in there. Mm -hmm. That's why I like it. So just like Bee's house, Bee's had that leak after yes. the rack and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We walked in, gutted it, gutted. We can gut the subfloor. We can pull this plywood up off, put new subfloor, new flooring, and be out of here. I think we did it in a day. Yes, you did. So it's, I love, that's why I love these tiny homes. Yeah. Um, you're plumbing in, this is a vent. This sucks air. So when the shower's running or the washer's running, this sucks air so you're able to flow and the water doesn't back up and hold, hold okay. or, or drain your trap dry. I, I've never seen, I've, I've not seen this before like that. Is this it always is, like that? Well, this is an interior wall. Oh, okay. So this will all be covered up. Is that this usually is, always in there? It's either here 
We just went ahead and, and what we're doing is we're plumbing the whole house so we don't have to come back. <clears throat> That's it great. Done under the house. Mm -hmm. I love it. We can spray foam be out here. We are going to be knocking days off of our build time. Mm -hmm. And the plumbing is done. I like it because it's not in the walls. When And our people at our workshop, you may used to have wire, 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 wire. Yes. Then plumbing uh, pipes in there. You yes. got this much of infrastructure going around, mechanicals going yes. around in here. You can't nail your V groove on the wall or sheetrock because you got so many nail It was super busy in here. Dude, now look. I mean, it's just. Isn't this beautiful? Yeah, it's so nice and clean. Yeah. Now, I'm glad you said that. Look yeah. up here. Hurricane brackets on all our rafters. Okay, yep, I see it. The headers up there, which is where the hurricane brackers, brackets are nailed to. Yeah. Okay, that's a two by eight, not a two by four. The two by fours were fine. We did the two bays because now we can use our two by our, our 10 foot two by fours instead of 12 foot. Now we have less waste. Oh. We got bigger, we have a bigger header where this house doesn't need that big a header. Right. But let's say they walk in here and they want to knock this thing out and put a big old window in here. Right. Or, or Kate designs something in the future. Mm -hmm. We got like Andrew's big right. window. Mm -hmm. That header will support a big opening. Okay. So if they wanted to knock this out and say, honey, 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 will you put a big window in there? I like to have a big window. And we'll say, yep, good, go. That up there will support all the way. Okay. Also, our rafters yes. are solid boards going across mm. it's another thing of efficiency and speed yep because now it's four cuts instead of nailing gluing that's fastening awesome i mean that's gonna like you said knock off days listen listen of course not. <laughs> listen listen and i just love i just want this to be documented that he gets he got the the piece of plywood that says tiny home spring jam that's so cool isn't it yeah hey i have a question what um I heard you all talking. Oh, I was, lie. I was eavesdropping. It's lie. Anyway, I overheard that plywood's going up. How does that affect your cost? Mm, maybe I mean, maybe because I'm foreseeing things going up. Mm -hmm. That's how we're becoming quicker, yes. more efficient. Okay. With our time, prices can go up a little bit. We're still saving money. Okay. Yeah. We're watching it. Plywood OSB always fluctuates. It always does. Yes. And during a hurricane, during certain seasons, during certain, you know, we got tariffs coming out of Canada now with mm. plywood and or other kind of species of wood. Okay. Um, so, you know, it can go up. We use about 30 sheets of plywood. So if it comes up for, for, you know, $4 a sheet, that's an extra 120 bucks. Okay. If somebody that puts said, it in perspective. If somebody says, hey, we got to change our price to $2,500 on a house because it's plump because of wood. No. Right. This, this framing on this house, if it went up 10%, you're looking at what, 250 bucks? Oh, that's good to put it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Don't let that be an excuse for somebody to raise their prices. Right. Well, people will say stuff like that. And like when I heard it, when I yeah. hear raise it, when it gets expensive, I'm like, oh my gosh. But whenever you put the numbers to it and you're like, listen, it's only like 120 bucks, you know, calm. Calm down. All right, steel went up. Okay. Steel's went up. Everything's going to go up a little bit because I think, I don't know, I'm not, I don't listen to a lot of the news or anything, but I, but the tariffs are up. Uh, solar, solar, they're putting tariffs. They want everybody to buy American. Right. I, I love it too. Understand. You know what the thing is, is about, and I'm, I don't want to get into, I don't know if it's politics or economics, and I'm not a guru. I just look at it as common sense. Everybody says they can't afford American, American made products, so they go to China, right? Mm -hmm. We buy stuff from China. We buy stuff at American made, you know what it says? Made in China. Made in China. But we get it and we buy it from American manufacturer. Okay, the thing is, is if I want somebody to buy my American built homes, right. I've got to compete with China. Well, they're going to say, how can you do that when they're only getting paid 50 cents an hour, right? Mm -hmm. I think you can do it. Every tiny home builder in America is charging outrageous prices. I'm not against them, that's great. Let them do what they want, great. They build great, they build great homes. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to, I'm struck. I don't look at other prices. I look at what I can do and what I can give you all and what I can make as a living. Right. And that's where I'm at. And I'm thinking, good God, we are not going up in our prices. You can come at our workshop and build one for 18,000. You get mm -hmm. a custom for 25. That home right there, about 26, five with the painting on the outside. It's right. a 16 foot beautiful yeah. home, mm -hmm. 27. A complete home. Which, so, which that ties into, uh, with you talking about that, would you touch a little bit on the a la carte? 
Yes, yeah. The a, a la carte is what I do with the a la carte, and she means if you let's say you want to come to a workshop mm -hmm. and you don't want to do all the work, or you don't have enough people to volunteer to do all your work. So the difference between the workshop and a custom yes. is the difference in labor. So an 18, a 16 foot home, and I use this as an example, is 18,000. Mm -hmm. If you buy us and buy it from us and we build it, it's 25,000. Right. That difference, if you come here, is you're saving us from doing the labor for you. You're saving that money. So what is that? 7,000 bucks? Seven, 8,000 dollars. Six, yeah. 7,000 mm -hmm. dollars. The a la carte, is I take that $7,000 and I looked at every, um, every aspect of the home that needs to be completed. Right. All right. To become a custom. I take those lists of eight or 10 things and I put a percentage to them of how much work is involved in each segment of that, uh, each, you know, each, each um, item that needs to be completed. Right. Correct. And I put a percentage and a price. Mm -hmm. So. Let's say you come and you're gonna say, wow, I can't do the outside. I'm not, I'm not gonna have time to do the outside. I'll just do the inside. How much is the siding? Just do all the siding, all the trim, all the windows and all that stuff. Right. That's 30% of what we were gonna do. Then you go inside. I don't wanna to touch the inside. The inside's another 30%. All the V-grip and the trim and the windows and all that stuff. The wood floor, I think, is 8%. The cabinets is 3%. All that stuff, you know? Which so is I, something that has to be determined beforehand because we're not going to have guys on yes yeah. on standby yeah no the in the workshop is all made to be done before you get here yes we need advance notice the worst thing is to do is hey i want to come to your workshop in two weeks we we try to do it because yeah. we need the work we want to make you sure right. you get a home and we try to accommodate but it's it ends up being really hard because we're pulling off of a custom home correct to frame one in and get back to the custom and then the custom is behind it and it's just we don't right. want to do and that. then if it's something that you can't finish or it, your crew and isn't confident then again. you're back over there and now we're two weeks and that's what's happened to the company correct now we're two weeks behind on a custom on a custom yes right and we have another custom after that custom mm -hmm. and we're behind because we've been doing free labor getting a home out of here exactly and so now we're behind and and i was like I, god i just can't do that anymore right you know? exactly and so and i think people understand of course and then the restructure on that is going to be uh with the workshop we've got one in uh well next sunday right coming yeah. in one yep next sunday we'll start monday uh framing it in mm -hmm. getting it ready do they the have anything prepped beforehand did they want to a la carte anything or do we know these folks here yeah i have to look at their file yeah and and what's you know, you guys may know that I don't know if I'm boring you all or whatever, but mm -hmm. when you call in, of course, you usually talk to Sam. Sam, if, if you want a home, he gives you a price. You guys say, yeah, we get 50, 80 percent, I think almost 80 percent down now. Right. The reason we're getting 80. Listen, if we can from you, I think that's we're trying to make that our policy it is. is because when you buy a home, you've got all the money to buy the home. And so we're taking all that money and we're building your home. Correct. Every bit of that money goes to building your home. Right. right. I don't have the money to put out there to build your home and wait for your, if you got eight homes here, you can see how much money I'd, we would be out building eight homes, waiting for them to be built. Um, you know what we're doing? It's just to, to ask that may, I don't know if that's asking too much of, of a customer. I think, I feel like I've come across enough to be as an honest company, a company that you can trust that we're gonna build you a good oh, home. Oh, sure. And and I think that's why I feel like we can be bold enough to ask that. Um, you know I, you know what bothers me? I, I'm hard to ask for anything. And I wanna give more than I take all the time. But in this company, I can't. I've gotta watch because if I don't, we won't make it as a company. Correct. Right? So anyway, that's and what on, we're And at. honestly, with all the people that we've talked to and everything, like you said, they do have the money. I mean, they're ready for a home. They yeah. want their home. They don't care to do that. It's like, hey, if I know you needed the uh, 70, 80%, I would have gave you that. And yeah. most people pay way up before we're even done. Hey, oh, take it, take it. Take we it, yeah, know? we have pe three people right now on the books that's already paid in full. Yeah. So they're ready for their homes and ready for, it's, you know. It's, it is, it's just like when we first started, remember? When Tabitha gave us the yes. money, said, here you go. Yep. And I wasn't thinking, she said, take the money, I want you to have it and go. And, and it's right. just been mind blowing of the trust that you all trust in us. Now, how close are you with finance? And I know Sherry's working on it. Where are we at with financing? We have, we are, it's the same thing as the NADA, mm -hmm. all right? That's a certification. It's almost like a 
uh, for vehicles, NADA numbers and certifications. Okay. The bank says, if you can get NADA certified, we've sent all that in. We've got insurance, ins liability insurance, all the stuff that we need, it's been submitted. They're just looking at it. As soon as we can get that certification, then we go to lenders and say, listen, we're, we're all these other certifications along with our RBAH and other ones, there you go. It's gonna be so exciting. You wouldn't believe the list, and you probably would believe, because everybody's on uh, Friends of Incredible Tiny Homes, and people talk a lot about financing and everything, but people, we have people waiting. They're just waiting for financing. This That's business it. would explode. Yes, business would explode, um, correct. Hey, you know, one thing we talked about, and I'm just gonna, I put it out there because I'm just going to tell you guys. Right. But I'm actually thinking about insuring homes. He just talked about this last night. Right. We, I'm yep. thinking about insuring homes. We've got over 130 homes we've built. If we can insure for fire, theft, water damage, storm damage, just like a regular insurance company. Yeah. Uh, a premium every year. I'll insure your home. Mm -hmm. Right. And the way I can do that is if we have a number, a big group of people mm -hmm. that want to insure homes, then we have enough revenue that when people have a complete demolish or whatever we have, right. we'll send guys to fix your home. Right. So if you have problems with your home, we can go, hey, we can fix it quicker and cheaper than anybody else in the industry. And that's anyway. going to be super interesting to find out what we're allowed to do and things like that. Yeah, and the... I know there's there's some government rules and sure. rulings and stuff around that, and you got to be bonded and all this stuff. And and that's one of I got Sherry working on that. Sherry's yes. looking into all that. May or may not be able to get to that point, but I was thinking, but that'd why be don't great. We sure. Yep. You know. Um, Anything. Regina had a gutter that was damaged and maybe yep. through the hurricane. Why can't we do that? Exactly, right. Why can't we do that work for her mm -hmm. and keep a good close watch on her home? Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And use her money to help her exactly. maintain her home. Exactly. Correct. We're also thinking about an extended warranty. If you want to extend a warranty in your home, right. we'll offer that. Our solar. Hey, let me show you this real mm, quick. Okay. And, and Lucas is, you guys, I can't speak enough about Lucas. He's done a great job. And the way he has, anybody that has talked to Lucas uh, about their water or their solar, you all know what a professional he is and how he's going about right. uh, for customer service. All right, this right here is a real inexpensive battery bank. These these four batteries is 800 and, no, 700 bucks. And these are golf cart batteries. Okay. All right, these four batteries, this inverter, look, incredible solar. These are our inverters, our own inverters. The manufacturer has put our stamp on this inverter. This is a generation of inverters that we thought was having problems, but what it was is the inverters were fine. Oh, really? We bought lithium batteries, but we thought these, a lithium battery can't charge like these batteries. These batteries can go down and up, on and up, all right? Mm -hmm. Lithiums have to be charged really slow. Like your cell phone, you charge it too fast, it gets hot. Yes. That's why Tesla has a, on their on their Tesla walls, you can't drain that and, and then fill it full the next day from the sun. It has to be trickle charged. Oh, you charge it too fast because it gets too hot. It can get it can explode. Oh God! So, I got ten lithium batteries that are sitting here, and we're going to try to incorporate them in our factory. We're actually going to try to make the factory off grid. Now, mm -hmm. these batteries, these four batteries, here's look, one hundred percent charge. See that? Good. It's at a hundred percent charge, charged all day. Now what's it charging? Charge those batteries. No, I mean, okay, so it's just it's we've not... got nine solar panels up on the roof. Okay. And these wires coming are up on the roof. That's over 150 feet away. Wow. Charging these batteries, going straight to mom. Oh, okay, so it's keeping that her house yeah. going. So when she's here during the day, yep. that air conditioner's running, everything's running. Now, I've let it run all night. You can see I've left it running, the lights are on and everything in there. Right. We test it out. She runs all night off of those four batteries. Right. Isn't that cool? So this yes. is our testing center. We take our we can take our inverters. We test them, the batteries, everything. This is the solar system. Inside here is a charge controller, That's inverter, cool. all in one. So you can see it's real sleek. Now, Lucas, he's so smooth with his language and how he explains all this. I love listening to him talk about all this. But the way this is made, this is what you need to power a house. Okay. All right? What so golf cart batteries will work? Yes. Now, these batteries, what we have to do is you got to pop them off and check some water and everything. These are, these are maintenance. i got to maintenance these things once a month. You can get other batteries. They're called pure lead, pure, 
pure carbon, pure free carbon. He, he told, he's, there's three batteries you can get. Okay. And the new ones are coming out. It's just called a pure free carbon lead battery something, he told me. And what happens is it has guaranteed 3,000 charges. That's a six-year warranty. It's guaranteed for six years. If it poops out in five years, mm -hmm. they'll give you all new batteries back. Oh. Isn't that cool? And you can drain them, kill them, bring all the them way back. down. Kill them, bring them back. So those instead don't of, get too hot. Instead of going 50% all the time. Yeah. Now these here, I gotta, I gotta make sure there's water in there. That distilled water, off -grid, right? Yeah. And off grid, mm -hmm. off grid is gonna be there's there's some maintenance to it. Right. Okay. But we're bringing the price down. Yeah. All right. Please look at our website. Check this out. We're going to be coming Wednesday, and I'm going to have new prices for our solar. Really, I want to get it inexpensive for you. Right. Compare. I'm not in the solar business, but I am. If it'll save you money, right, and sell us homes. These inverters, these batteries, not this, them batteries. We'll give you different ones you can choose from. Compare our prices. Just go and take apples for apples in what we can do. And also, if you have a tiny home, we can retrofit it with solar and our water system. Now, our water system, I'm still using it here for, with our kitchen. I found this out about our water system. Okay. I had a 40-gallon water heater in there yes. inside the bunk room. Right. There's no bunk room anymore. Of course. But right. the bunk room was in there, and I was, I have a shower in there. Because if we need to take a shower during the day or before I leave for work or whatever before I leave, I can take a shower. I mean, the guys change shirts all through the day. They get so hot. Yeah, so we thought, well, let's test it out. Okay, the water heater holds 40 gallons of water and it's hot. Mm hmm It was making a foul odor. Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, maybe that water's cooking in there. You know, I don't know what it was. The ozone, maybe it was the ozone or whatever it was right. making a smell. Took the water heater off and I put a tankless water heater yep. inside. I've seen that, yeah. Right here. Mm -hmm. So now we put a tankless water heater inside. The water doesn't get hot until you turn the valve on. Oh, so did the smell go away? There's, let's say the water heater's here. There's cold water just sitting here waiting. Okay. You turn the hot water heater on, the water, like you want warm water in your faucet, heats it up and goes straight to it. Okay. But it only heats the water going through it. There's no tank. So it, the water, cold water sitting here. The water's just waiting there, cold. Immediately, as soon as you turn that water on, the flame start in here, mm -hmm. cooks that water because it goes through coils. Right. Straight to your faucet. Oh. Then when you turn it off, there's no more water inside. There's no hot oh. water waiting inside. Right. Our odor's gone. Really? Okay. Yes. Another thing in here. Well, so it, so saying you can't use a standard water heater. I don't think you can. Okay. With our water That's interesting. System. Okay. This is full of water right to here. Okay. We have an ozonator blowing in here, and it, it has a diffuser, mm -hmm. and it's blowing air, ozone, all inside here. Totally, that's another filtering system that keeps I it see. clean. I see. All right. We're building these big boxes, and the only one, only, only drawback that we're having now is that we're going to waterproof the inside. We've got it insulated, but now we're going to start waterproofing. You see, we got this insulation. Yes. With the plywood, and I don't like that. I want to put a rubber base in here so when you do have a leak, you change the filters, it doesn't get wet in the box. Okay. This is our box. This is our, our pre screen box. I've showed you guys this before. When you take a shower, all the water goes through all these filters first, right? right? Then through all these filters and out. This making this noise right here. I am. No, I'm just teasing. Oh, I was fixing my hair. <laughs> or I would have skated. This right here scared. is a little pump. And it pumps ozone. All it's doing is pumping air. It takes it out of this and pumps it into the tank. And it's just pumping ozone into this tank right here. Okay. But what we found is after I do dishes, after I take a shower in here, mm -hmm. or anybody uses that water, and I've told a few other folks, that box, that box with the filters, it's got... If you just turn your water off and you get through showering, you're still gonna have soapy water and contaminated water sitting in that box. Okay. If it's 95 degrees and I'm down there, you know, where Mary is in South Houston, it's gonna be hot, right? Inside right. that box, it's gonna just get nasty. Run your water after okay. you're out of the shower, after you get done with the dishes. Run it how long? Clean that box out. You're gonna have to play with it. I think if you run it five or 10 minutes afterwards and flush all that debris. Also, I told the Akunas, I said, you know what? Take those filters out daily. Mm -hmm. Why wait? Don't, don't. This is a water system. Keep it clean. Right. You're doing dishes, 
You're doing laundry? You're doing stuff. Yeah. You're taking showers, you got dead skin, toenails, grease, hair, boogers, all kinds of stuff. Oh! Ugh. Clean it out! That's gross. Cheryl Huff just said, I have the same smelly hot water problem. Plumber said, I just have to change the, an, and something rod, A-N, annoyed, A-N-O-I-D rod to, and I can't see the rest of it. Oh, Plumber said, and rod to, hang on, to one that doesn't chemically interact with water i'm on well water if mm. that makes a difference yeah. that's a good point hey cheryl huff there you go yep and that in that way she didn't have to get a tankless i just wanted to throw a tankless on there we're experimenting okay so well and to lynn low on here hey lynn um love lynn um she has asked a good question can this system be fully on board on a house instead of exterior yes it can oh Karen okay Day is on a house all the stuff is on the house. The Kunas are on the house. Uh, Chelsea's is on the house. This this is something you can add if you want to add it later. You know, if you want to add it to your home, mm -hmm. if you want it on board, completely on board. Okay. All that, all that right there can be. Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Fuse, mm -hmm. she's got one in the back of her house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Sure can. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is cool. It's not perfect. Right. We it's don't, getting we're there. still playing with it. Right. All I know is those filters will work. The ozonator will work. The, the ultraviolet light will work and clean your water. How often to change some filters and how often to keep it clean, mm -hmm. we don't know. Right. We're experimenting. Everybody out in the field right now is reporting back. Well, it, I was going to say, and everybody that has bought a system is um, is reporting back and letting you know yeah. pros and cons of everything. Lucas um, is talking to right. him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah, actually... Like, even at the gym, you sold a system, a solar system, right? Yeah, a guy bought it, an inverter, and I got, mm -hmm. I think, a couple panels. Right, exactly. So, I like it. It's different. It's something we can't say, hey, it's going to guarantee, you know, work. All mm -hmm. I know is it works. I'm using it. I'm showering. I'm doing my dishes. We're rice is in here. Guys, whatever we can do in here. Uh, we're maintenance it, though. I mean, we had to put a new pump on. We mm -hmm. had to tweak it a little bit. We've stripped down all the valves, all the solenoids, the switches. It's stripped. We don't have any DC pumps anymore. Everything's AC. We got a centrifugal pump right now that pumps more volume. All that stuff. And it's been a lot of, um, you know, hit and miss. Yes. I love this system what we got. That's great. It's really doing well. So, anyway, I'm excited about what we're doing. I'm excited about what we can offer. You can, I will guarantee you, you'll take our solar uh, system that we can sell you. There's nobody going to come close to the price that oh, we'll sell it to. Oh, no you. way. Yes. Uh, just compare. I want everybody to report back to me. Hey, we'll put it on there. Apples for apples. Mm -hmm. Go and take that to another solar company and say, apples for apples, how much? If you can buy it somewhere else, please tell me and buy it from them cheaper, and I won't sell it. We'll give them all our business. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. Right. right. Yeah. Melanie was asking, how much power does that pump pull? That system there? What she, what Lucas told me today. Now that little pump didn't pull anything because it's blowing water. But when you turn your water, your pump on, I think it's about 12 amps. Okay. Whole system, 12 to 15 amps is what it pulls. But you only run it while you're doing your, um, uh, taking a shower. Right. Or doing your dishes. So I mean, now, now isn't it, that, I mean, I've, I've not used it. I don't know how to, to do it or anything. But if, if you were to get a system... Listen, if you run it like you do, like at my house, like normal, you're going to be doing more work. Like you're going to be doing more cleaning, more that. But if you don't, but if you like pace yourself at like what, how you do dishes or whatever, like there's things you just have to do different than a normal yeah. home. Yeah. Um, the Akunas are doing laundry every day. I think that's a lot for that system. Exactly. So right. I told them, you're going to need to change your filters more. They more need to often. clean them out. I clean them every day. Yes. If I'm going to do a load of laundry every day, I'm taking them pre-screening filters out, and I'm cleaning them, putting them back, and I'm exchanging out every day. Every day. Uh, the cartridge filters, I, I don't know. I mean, I would, I would go, if it ever has a spile odor in there, and you clean it, it should not ever smell like that. Okay. Clean, 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 until you know how much usage you're doing, how much stuff you're, if you're washing, uh, Alexander was washing her dogs in her bathtub. Okay, that's fine, but you got dog hair, and you got stuff that's been out in the woods right. outside pollen well in clean. some things it's like if you why would you want to even put it in there why would you even want to chance it you yeah. know what i'm saying like why not just even though you can why not put chunky yeah. stuff 
do it somewhere else. I mean, you drive in a Kia car and it says it'll do 100. Are you going to do 100? Oh, never. So <laughs> it's the same thing. No, I never. Yeah. Don't maximize it. Take yes. good care of it. Exactly. Just like your solar, everything else. Right. So, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a great scenario, man. I know it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, everybody's getting dark here. We did a lot of tech night. I'm excited about the company. I'm excited where we're going. Yes. I'm really pumped up. I had a great time at the jam. And you know, hey, one thing I tell you what, when after the last broadcast we did right after the jam, we were just, we were tired. And it, I loved everybody. Everybody, we had a massive, massive time. We did. All right, lost some money, but you know what? We've been thinking this through. And Amanda had an idea today. Mm -hmm. And I think we're gonna tweak it around a little bit. You know how we're giving a house away? Yes. We're going to try to work something out. We're going to work something out, you guys. We're going to. We're not going to stop at this. We're going to we make were, this We were work. brainstorming right? today. We got 32 acres waiting on us down <laughs> And it's going to be fun. <laughs> we, I just love you guys camping here, hanging out. I had a great time. I love dancing and the music. And I think I wanted to make it even more relaxing, especially for us and the guys. Yes. And just going to hang out. Right. I don't know if... I don't have to worry about model homes or whatever we're doing, but I think I like we'll building. We'll figure some, yeah. We may build a house during the jam. Yeah. Maybe you guys can build it. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? Mm-hmm. So. That was my idea. I kind of thought it that. Was. It yeah. was. It was Amanda's idea. We got to tweak it and think yeah. about it. But Super think about it. Y'all, yeah. I love, it was nice seeing everybody. Yeah. And, um. I, can Go I ahead. can I mention, because I did not mention this I the other know, night. I want you to do I it. had the best time, and Randy did too, yep. with Brittany. Pope was, and her yep, wife Stephanie. I absolutely adore them too, and I absolutely wouldn't. We did not mean to leave you off Wednesday no night, but way. we had the best time with those two women. They were fan, absolutely fantastic, and I can't say enough too about Karen Coon because Karen, uh, she's yeah. a friend of Incredible Tiny Homes. Her and Warren, family, yeah. she's family, and she was great with the girls too. And um, Brittany and Steph were fantastic. Yeah. They were so fun. You know what was? It, I'm going to tell you. And you guys know, if you know me, and, and know us here, that it was so cool to have so many people here feel at home. Yes. They felt like they could just help, and they could be themselves, and there was no yeah. pressure. And that's how I felt. I yes. think that's how everybody else felt. When those two girls, they didn't leave until they had to talk to me. And it that's was, right. And they it was, waited. It was they so did. cool. They had appointments and stuff, and they waited till the day after the jam. Yes. It was the day after the jam, right? Yeah, it was Sunday. Sunday. And, and they left, and they said, we got to talk to you. And they had tears in their eyes. So right? wonderful. They said it changed their life. Yes. They said being here and feeling all the love from everybody. Yeah. And feeling accepted and feeling how people treat each other and how people were kind. Yes. And it wasn't just here. You know what it was? It was in East Tennessee. That's right. They said they went to a pilot station. <laughs> And they were getting some fuel and <laughs> giving their money. And the, and the young lady at the counter said, sweetheart, y'all have a beautiful day. Yeah. And she, they just melted. Paid for their gas. Yeah. They just melted. Oh, my God. They called me sweetheart. And that's, just, <laughs> that's East Tennessee. Yeah, All it right? is. I'm proud to be here. And, and it, so it wasn't just in, in, in our factory. Right. It's outside. Oh, it's everywhere. And, too, I just want to mention, too, the girls were just so fun. And Steph. Um, her dad requested, uh, I, and I think it was probably kind of joking about bring a turtle home to him from Tennessee. Well, it rained, and as they was going over towards the property, um, a turtle was walking out on the, the pavement, and they stopped and picked up a turtle and took it home to her dad. Now, that's a federal <laughs> offense, man. This oh, no, they man. didn't. They let it loose. <laughs> um, right before they left, they let it loose, and it went into, uh, it went to my yard. Yeah. <laughs> not transport turtles man. okay so well here's what really happened they ran <laughs> they actually ran over it <laughs> they actually killed the turtle is that illegal yeah. well it was in the road I stepped on a turtle today over the other property i think the girls hate turtles and allergic to turtles so <laughs> <laughs> yeah and we don't have any addresses names oh no no like and that. the turtle is dead you cannot get a hold of the smashed, turtle for it it's smashed it, for questioning you cannot question yeah. the turtle yeah Amanda is a little schizo, so she does everything she says you can't believe. Oh, listen, you can't believe nothing I say. I'm blonde, so. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just want to tell you, thanks for the jam. Thanks for everything. Uh, it, was, it was a really great time. Oh, it, it was fun. Gonna, we are going to do good as a company. Yeah. We are not going up on our prices. I'm not going up. 
I don't, I don't see us going up right now, all right? I don't see it. Every company has to go up. Everybody does, right? I'm sure eventually we're going to have to do something. Right now, I'm always, always price conscious. Yes. Cost effective. Everything that we do. Um, Andrew, who we built the house for, he has been such a help. He's been done. He's done cost analysis studies for us. He's done demographics for us. He's also done uh, cost comparisons to other companies for us all for free. He just did all that for us because he, I was curious. He was curious. I don't get on the internet and look, and he shipped all this info, and it was really cool to be able to see. Yes. These guys charge $2,500, $3,500 for a staircase. We started at 1000 Yeah. We're adding a little bit more money because of our doors and drawers and, and anything. It gets more intricate. Yeah, you got to have more because we're just not make, we're losing money on a lot right, of these things exactly. because we found that when people order staircase, they they want fourteen drawers and two <laughs> flip ups and two doors, and it's yeah. like my God, I've got way more money now. I'm I losing know money. So exactly. That's just things we're doing. Price of base price at home still same. Right. That house right here, the sixteen foot home. Let's show it right here. So we cute. Before we turn off, right here, I love this house. This is a $25,000 house, 16 sure foot is. long. Yes. Ready Beautiful. to live in. You have a home. You come and build this. I'll show you how to build this house for $18,440. Yep, that's right. Where can you go in the United States and do that? Nowhere. Right? Everybody, you need to come to East Tennessee. You're going to come to the. To the New, Newport, Tennessee is the tiny house capital, capital of the world. Of the world. Okay. Newport, Tennessee. You're tiny gonna know house it. capital of the world. Of the world. We are about to break the walls down. That's right. In this company, in this industry, people don't talk about us. The, com nope. the competition don't talk about us. I don't have that Derek Dieterson calling me. I don't nope. have that Bryce. I don't have no shows calling me, and I don't know why. A and listen, HGTV didn't come this they past weekend, they and they were confirmed, and they I didn't come. I don't understand come. why they don't come yeah. here because we're the answer to your tiny home needs. That's right. And I don't know why they don't come here, but you know what? I don't care. You need We're, a house, this is it. Spread the word, everybody. That's right. Thank you. You know what? We're making sales. We're growing, and that's all we care about. That's right. And we had a jam. We had an intimate family jam, and it was awesome. And we're going to keep doing it. Yes, you're right? absolutely. We're going, to, we're going to stay tough. We're going to stay strong, and we're going to keep going. Yep. All right? Keep so our head up. Thank you. We need you to support us in what we're doing and give us your attention. Spread the word about our company. That's right. Everything you can do. And you guys, we're, we're here. We're here. We're not running off. We're going to build beautiful homes. We're even getting better and, and better. And we uh, we're not going to give anything away, but the brainstorming that uh, we were talking about today, we both said some very exciting things. Yeah. So Newport, Tennessee, we're, oh, we're on our way. Yeah. We're coming. Yeah. We're coming. Yeah. So, and everybody is going to be very excited. Newport is beautiful because it is borders the Smoky Mountains. Beautiful. It borders the Nationals Park of the Smoky yes. Mountains. It is I was at the property today and it came a rainstorm and I was looking at the rain coming and I looked behind me and there was the Smokies. Wow. Over the horizon. Beautiful. And I was like, this is awesome. Yes. Everybody, thank you. We're going to get excited about our shows and I, I got to get back to just having some fun and putting some mm -hmm. skits on and stuff and getting some really cool stuff going. So thank you all so much. And um, anything else I'm missing, Amanda? I'm so used to doing the, yeah, she's doing a wrap up. <laughs> I'm so used to talking about the jam and other things coming up. Yeah. Now you know what we're going to do? We'll build. Oh, yeah, we'll build. I wanted to tell y'all, uh, if, you know what, I was just, it's just coming in my head. I haven't even said anything. This popped in my brain. We are going to build a building. Mm hmm I've got all the wood cut up. I've got 3,500 3, two-by-fours, two-foot long, cut at a 45-degree angle, long and short. i got all the plywood ripped up. we got enough to build all of our trusses. Yes. All I need now is put them together. I don't have a house for you. Pitch a tent if you'd like to down on that property. But if you want to come and volunteer and help us build that building, come on. I don't. Have, I can't give you any food. I can't give you anything. But if you want to come and you want to see how them things are put up, we're going to build a dome-like house. Our building, 60 foot wide, 30 foot tall, and it's going to be a big self-supporting arch. And, and what we're going to do too, with any volunteers or anything, of course, contact us, and then we'll get you on a list. And we'll get everything. Uh, we'll organize you. Yeah. We'll organize it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, please don't come just to sit and watch. No. You have to come to work, or, or really don't come just for that. We, you know, and we don't, you know, need to prepare lunches. I don't eat. We don't eat. No. We don't, all we do is work. Right. So please come. All we do is want. work. We're all getting skinny. <laughs> if, all you, if you want to work, <laughs> we're ready to work. All right. And I'm serious. We work, and I love working. If you want to see a structure like that go up, and you just want to be a part of what we're doing, 
please call the office and bring a tent, camp out, bring you some food. You guys can work, but it's work. And um, but I'd be it'll be really fun. All right. And we'll, and we'll let everybody know when that begins. What the time frame is going to be on that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, I just threw that out. Man, it's freaking out. So. I know. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Have a great night. Thanks for tuning in. And please share this video if you can. I know it's super long. Everybody gets bored with it. But hey, incredible tiny homes. We're doing all right. Take over the world. <laughs> tiny house capital of the world. Bye.